everybody stop what y'all doing because it's Sunday night. Real Talk Boxing live from the Dallas On Air Studios. We own in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ling, ling. It's Real Talk Boxing live episode nine. Uh, today we're not really having any guests, it's just to catch up on the sport of boxing, just updates on fights, stuff we've missed since maybe the last episode or even the one before that we really didn't talk, you know, a, a lot about fights that were happening around. Um, so, you know, with us starting the show, there's a lot of uh, adjustment, so we decided to, you know, even if y'all put some feedback in of what y'all enjoy about the show and what y'all don't, what we could change, you know, we always take suggestions on anything. Um, so we decided to go away from using the music. Because we feel like it died down when, when the music was on. You just see the, the viewers die down. So we went away from that. Just, you know, even people you don't want to see on here, we can always try to work something out, try to get somebody on here. Um, so, you know, uh, did y'all catch a fight last night? Or the top, I know the Top Rank had a card on ESPN, which was... Uh, I was watching Troy. No, no, I didn't get to, I didn't get to catch him, but we're watching the replays right now. But, uh, but we did see the the upset that yeah, what, what, lost, what, which, yeah which biggest, I was surprised. Was upset. I mean, it was the know. biggest upset because he's the, supposedly he's supposed to be the future. Of yeah, Rico, which uh, I mean, maybe this fight is gonna. I mean, this fight even, doesn't. You can even based on okay, let's use this as even fights before that. Okay, he fought uh, more Bam Bam Nahara from San Antonio. He fought him. He didn't knock him out like everybody thought he was. But that that kid that's with uh, what do you call it now? Uh, Saul Rodriguez is with uh, Mayweather. He yeah. knocked out Ivan Nahara like within I can't remember how many rounds it was, but he knocked him out easily. He made him look worse than Dejo did. Right? Dejo, that was his biggest test to date, which I guess wasn't. But I mean, he didn't knock him out like he was supposed to. So I mean, you know, still there's. It's not like he was, you know, from view wise, he might not have been the, you know, next big thing out there. I mean, the way Top Rank was pushing him, like he was, but he never bounced back for the motorcycle wreck. And um, I think the shoes are way too big to be filled. Mm. You got um, Cotto and different people from Puerto Rico, and um, of course Tito, thug in, thug out, and um, <laughs> stuff like that. I mean, no, Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican fighters just say um, that that um. Those are hard shoes to fill. Yeah, so, it is. Especially after Ricardo retiring. I don't know. Like, oh, well, he's retired, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No, after him. I mean, before Cotto, who was there? Tito Trinidad, right? Yeah. Tito. So right Tito. Tito. Uh, Wama was pretty popular at some point, but yeah. he wasn't the, you know, Tito, as big as. And then Cotto. And then now, who's going to fill up those shoes? So after that boxing match, after you. Know, I mean, I saw that there was an upset. I didn't get to see the. the the, the um, we saw the the, the, the the fight again right now. Right, we saw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, spit it out, Jay. Spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Nacho's making me very nervous. That's why. Uh, <laughs> what's up, Nacho? How are you doing, man? Doing good. I'm doing great, baby. Yeah, I'm feeling it today. And you don't Woo! see him on the camera, but he's behind the boards, man. Nacho, well, I'm man. feeling it like Viagra. What? Me, we, 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 <laughs> we, we couldn't do what we do if it wasn't for him. Hey, that's oh, it. You're making me blush, guys. <laughs> the good thing is that you don't put him on camera. <laughs> I would destroy this show if I come on camera. No, he could please I'll force him. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <Even though? laughs> well, <laughs> but, but he said Wama and uh, Wama. I thought about him with that Puerto Rican thing, but um, I think he hurt himself a whole lot when he tried to. Sell, he's the one that told the referee or told the ju- the referee, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, they're, they're betting he's on him or something like that. So uh, Orlando Salido twice and was it Puerto Rico both times? I believe so. Yeah, and he told the he told uh, the first time. This is hilarious. I don't know if you ever heard the story. I don't know. No, yeah, yeah. His dad lost, was a, his yeah. dad was a ref. This dude's dad was a ref. This is years the first ago, time. right? Yeah, yeah. this is years this ago. This dude's yeah. dad was a ref the first time, and then his the son was the ref the second time, right? Like he, he's like he told him, well, he has a gambling problem or <laughs> drink it or something. And, was, the and he said that on on air. Yeah, and, that's on, on, on him, they, and they suspended him for a year, right? And everything. Right. Yeah. I never. He, he's never caught my attention. He's never caught my attention. And then he caught my attention when he came to Dallas and Mikey Garcia crucified him in the middle Bro, of the, the ring. The biggest Let thing. Like the biggest thing that caught your attention was anybody he without he the shirt caught glove, my attention. When he put when, <laughs> when he signed your glove, he put a. Uh, 2009. Yeah, he put like his weight classes. He won WBO the, the world belt. titles, and that was cool. I mean, but he was cool. Like I mean, so he fought. Yeah, Mikey beat the shit out of him here. So I mean, you know, I'm glad I came to Dallas too. That was, that's American Airlines. 
Right at American Airlines Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of where Star Boxing started at right there, too, during yeah. that whole event thing that was going on that week. So that, that's when it started. So now we get to talk about Mikey Garcia since we're already in that topic. Hey, right? Yeah, good, good so safe I, I got to I, I got to see the fight twice. And some people asked what I do for spring break. I literally I rewatched the out. Canelo Triple G <laughs> fight twice. And then I got to see the Mikey Garcia fight twice. And then I got to see the Oscar Valdez fight twice at night. But the Mikey Garcia, I mean, he he looked very good. But he did say he wanted to come back down. So, But I mean, supposedly I, he said he's not going to come down now that uh, Lomachenko's moving up. I guess he moved to 135. So he's like, he'll stay at 140. But still, like, you know, he he looked really good. That was a good fight for him against Lipinez. He re- looked really good. Um Hats off to him, man. He was yeah, one yeah, hell of a fighter. Yeah, yeah. yeah and the, the good thing about that fight is against Broner, he really couldn't show off his power. Like, he couldn't, you know, knock. Mikey? Him. Yeah, yeah. He didn't knock Broner down at all. You know, when he came and fought Lipinus, Lipinus was undefeated, he knocked him down. But he's never touched the ground. He's never touched the canvas. Did you see that? Yeah. Lipinus, Lip, the guy he fight. I don't think yeah. he's ever touched the yeah, ground. He's never touched the canvas, and I made, he made him touch the yeah, I'm canvas. Trying, I'm trying to think. I think it was that, um, was it a left hook or right hook? Real short, real quick, and just caught him and put him down. On his butt, man. I, I was, Mikey, I, I like Mikey, man. But um, that guy put up a good fight, and we'll see what happens, man. Because they said Robert Easter, right? No, they're talking about. What are you talking about? Talking about um, Robert, going back down to fight Robert Easter or one thirty-five? Yeah, cause Robert Easter was there in the crowd too, right? That yeah, same night. Yeah. So mm, there's a lot of people out there. In that, they, they were throwing that. Apparently, would he go up to like one fifty, one fifty-four? I'm like, nah. That's way too much. That's he's too. It's you talking about Mikey? Yeah. Why we? What, there's if you really look at boxing right now, the biggest division I would say is 140 and 147. Why would he go? You know, that's where the most talent is, and mm-hmm. the, are the biggest names right now in boxing. Why would he go away above that? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Obviously, the biggest name in boxing right now is Cornello. To be honest, 160 middleweight. He's running. You know, the boxing division. Why would he? You know. But you know what's pretty cool about him is that he has his names up there with uh, Pacquiao and, and, and Marcus of, of having all those titles. Mike Who's Garcia. This? Oh, Mike Garcia. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, he's up there. I thought talking about Canelo, man. No. <laughs> don't, throw, don't throw trash on him yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't throw trash on him <laughs> yet. But now that we're on that subject. Hey, we can say for you. Yeah, we can, we can talk about that. Now, <laughs> the biggest thing that people are arguing about is about the steroids. Okay? Yeah. Now, there's a lot of point of views that you can talk about being on the steroids. The thing is, that has occurred many times for athletes that have been in Mexico. The Mexico national team, before they went to a World Cup, the, almost the entire squad got caught with those. Well, didn't get caught, but it was in their system. It was that steroid. Basically, it juices up more the meat in Mexico. Yeah. It's, not, it's not allowed here in the United States. Basically, USDA doesn't allow it. No. So, apparently... Canelo was was tested with that. Now they're yeah. saying that he's going to get tested again. He already right got tested be- twice afterwards. He, he already got tested good. twice. Did he clear the second yeah, one? I didn't get to see it. Okay, so now that is that Golden Boy's good about. They'll send like when when that failed test came in. Golden Boy emailed sent out their press release saying, "Hey, he's he's passed. I can't remember if it was ten before that, and he just failed this one. And then recently they put out he, he's uh, he passed twice again afterwards, twice or three times. So I and guess that's. But see, there's a lot of ignorant people that want to. Oh, you know, he's. Uh, well, he's this just, one's over here. No. Like you said, bro, he's like, that's why he. Uh, I don't want to mess up our credibility later on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to mess up our credentials. No, later no, on. no, 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 no. No, but my thing about it was that Canelo, with Canelo, is that the man makes a lot of money, so he should not be eating meat that's tainted. I guess I, I feel like yeah, he. How would he know that? I mean, you're just sitting here going. I went to Mexico every, about two weeks ago, so I probably failed my drug test hey, because. No, of no, no. No, you, you, you ate a lot of meat. <laughs> <laughs> no decision. Working, <laughs> working in the pest control industry, you learn things, okay? You know the food you eat every day has a lot of stuff. roaches in there, parts of rats. They're allowed, statewide, they're allowed so many the portion of it in your food that you can allow to eat that they're okay with. Regular, the whatever who runs the f- food industry. Is that so FDA? All, no. Yeah, whoever could runs it, it's uh, it could be the EPA. I don't even know who it is, to be honest. Somebody. But you're, <laughs> you're, you get so much. Same thing with, okay, when you go to a warehouse and there's those fucking cases of cokes just stacked up on pallets. There's rats running all over, peeing all over shit. You know they don't. But they're in plastic. You got tops on them, right? Not necessarily. Right before you're sitting on a pallet, and they're just running across. You know, it just happens. You're gonna you're gonna run across this. We're all gonna you know get it in our body somehow. Just. Same thing with the, just the way they process the food over there is what, what came from that. Well, I don't know, but one time we went to Mexico, 
me and my wife went to Mexico. Went down to um, I guess mm-hmm. it was, I, I guess it was um, not the richest part of Mexico, I guess. But they're they're, they're bringing meat, literally meat, on their backs, big old slabs of cows on their back, and walking them into the meat market. So you're seeing this in, in the states. We don't see that stuff. It comes in boxes and it's wrapped up. And yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that Canelo, I'm pretty sure he's not eating the, the damn meat that's coming off a guy's back off a truck that's been hot sitting outside in the sun. So that's what I'm saying. Like, well, I I think it's a cop out, but whatever. That's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's um no reflection of the show. Yeah. So <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I it's, it is what it is, man. So. So what? What are y'all just texted if, if somebody was uh, Irving Powell? No, that's what uh, I think Lord, where you get bros from? Oh yeah, Adam it was me. Oh, was you me. were Irving? Yeah, Powell? I was there. I was there. Okay, I was like, but I, I wasn't know. there to like, I wasn't yeah. there. What was so, the Irving Powell on Thursday? So, so there was a sparring. So shout out because I'm at I'm at a, a new boxing gym, sweat boxing. Gym. Yeah. Shout out to Hector uh, Vasquez. Done. Talk about you no. came from Irving Powell, the pro fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he runs that gym. Okay. So I I've, I've been uh, Listo Gaitan. Yeah. yeah. So he he fights in that gym. Okay. He does his training there. So. I basically kind of like threw myself with him, but hey, you know, let, let me work out with y'all. Let me get I'm in there. sorry, bro. I'm listening to you, but I want to train right now with the fucking music in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he told me he, they had a sparring on Thursday. Right. So at Irving Powell, and they had this guy from Laredo come in, so I went to go check out. I went to go see Alex. I went to go see this guy, okay. and I went, and I was basically on Listo, Listo Gaitan's corner okay. with him and the team. So I was there just watching all of them. Oh, really? I wasn't there like, yeah, let me instigate anything. Yeah. I was there helping our team out that's what basically what happened so that's what i'm gonna clear out which i you know you learn a lot so you keep on learning from different types of fighters so whoever made that comment it was because of that okay so i don't think really anything i'm sure he doesn't anything bad like, but anyways it, it's it's Irving powell always has a lot of good fighters but like amateurs and so you know i was basically with them and just watching them and, and, and seeing the spot which it got pretty intense man it gets, some sparrows get very yeah. intense and lisa was sparring this guy from laredo man it was, it was really really good do you remember his name uh, I forgot his name. I think he's a profile. I completely forgot his name, but I was I was more focused just on Listo. Okay. Seeing how he was going. Cause he ha- oh, he has a fight in, 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 in yeah. May, May 11th. May 11th. Listo has a fight in May 11th. It got moved to May 11th. Okay. And one more time. One more time. Is May it here? Is it here? 11th. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Is, is the fight here? Though? It's going to be here no, with reason, part Roy Jones Jr. No reason I know is because uh, what he cost was going to occur to Gabriel Flores. Well, his dad mentioned he's going to be maybe yes. the 11th of the day. So they're to all be. going to be together. So mm-hmm. I've been fortunate enough to be part of their team, and I've learned a lot. And his be dad, coach. <laughs> 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 I'm, just I'm just a fan. I'm just a fan. I'm just a fan. So I got in there to throw in the spark, and uh, Listo hits really hard. He hits really hard. But anyways, You're I was like, there to ah, sparring. Uh-huh. And I, <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. But, yeah, it, it's been pretty good. And his, his dad's really old school. Okay. Oh, man, you know, he's really old school. But anyways, that was that. Back to the steroids. Okay. Now, that conversation, now, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't mean it ignorant to everybody. But there's just people, when you post that on Facebook or ESPN, Canelo failed drug test. Yeah. Automatically, people, and there's people always tending Canelo's name. Now I agree. He's had fights that have not gone as that he hasn't deserved, like the Amir Khan fight. Amir Khan was his first time going up. He almost killed that dude. But, but you can't. I mean, okay, same thing with uh, Triple G fighting Kelbrook. It's the same kind of fight. I he's watched never, that fight too. He's never been up Sorry, that weight division. No, no, no. You're good. And he's never been up that weight division. I watched but that fight. And that I watched fight. EJ's fight against Kel Brook. Yeah. And I oh, and I even got to watch the uh, the the <laughs> oh. the, the, uh, the press, yeah. pre- 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 press conference. When when uh, Derek James was telling people, hey, how about y'all chill out? Start talking about how Kell Brook went in there. He lost. He lost. He lost against uh, 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 against Triple G. And everybody, no, well, you know, we're finding elite fighters. Who's there? But you lost against uh, uh, Triple G. And you know they yeah. were talking. So I saw that press conference. I saw when he, well, Kell Brook. He got. I mean, he got destroyed. But see, that's one thing I see. Even I don't understand that part. He but lost to Triple G. No, 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 no. We're talking about something else. But Kell yeah. Brook. Okay, we use an example. He. He lost to fucking Triple G. He lost to Earl Spence, and then he still gets a title fight at 154. Kel? Yeah, he just yeah, won a title at 154. Yeah. Uh, what did he win? WBC? Uh, WBO? He won something. This is his last fight. He won a t- another title. He's talking about, about Earl Spence. Come on, fight me at 154. Yeah. 
I said, man, come on, you know, you be a, you got beat at one forty seven. And you EJ called him out, and he's like, if you if he has that title, I don't mind fighting him. Yeah. If that fight happens, they should make it here. Um, they should make it here. Why would he go back to the across the pond and fight? No, Kill it's true. Brooke? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Do it. I feel you. I feel you. He should do it here. Be one. I went to your backyard. And I took what it was yours. Now you come to my backyard, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do again. And I hope he breaks his other but, eye. Oh but, my gosh, I should not said that. But I hope he breaks his other <laughs> eye. <laughs> Poor guy. But but it was now or never. So now you're talking about that. So now you got me started. Ooh. Now you're talking about that. Ooh. Not in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> as a fighter, because you talk about well, you know, they went up, but it's now or never. As a fighter, okay, look, yeah. I'm off for this fight. Like even the previous fight, what happened? Mikey Garcia and that guy he just fought, his hand was broken. And he's like, if I don't take this fight, it's either now or never. So there's fighters that you're going to have to fight somebody that the odds are going to be against you. But that money, when it comes in, you have that chance. Prime example is we're talking about Robert Monarchy. Like even when he was here, he talked about, you know, fighting like rigging down. He's like, nobody else is paying six figures. He had to take that fight at the time. That's why I asked him. I said, man, you... Do you feel like you had it? There's no other opportunity to take another fight. That might fight might never come back around. The money may never come back around either. He was real young at that time. He was, do you just take it or you like you just let it pass you by pretty much? The way I take it too is that it's money, the money type of thing, by money, but also you're testing, you're showing yourself for greatness. You're trying to see if you can be great and go up another weight class, fight a bigger man, and stuff like that. But if Errol Spence beats him and he can't use that, or not Errol Spence, um, I'm talking about Triple G, um, Kel, Kel Brook. Yeah, yeah. He got beat, but people say, oh, because he um, went up or yada, yada, two different sizes. But motherfucker, he signed the contract. He fought. Yeah. He did it for the money. Now, yeah. back, to, back to your comment about um about going across the pond. I think with that will be um if, if they go back over there, it's a bigger payday because they fill stadiums. That's not going to fill a stadium here. Over there, because I guess box is real big over there. Yeah. Yeah, they do stadiums over well, there. Know, so you, you don't think EJ would fill up a stadium no, no, no. here? Not no. a Cowboy Stadium. No, no. So what yeah, about they, you have, for an example, for an example, you have. They play at soccer field stadiums. I don't think. I don't think. What do you got against soccer? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love Pele, play, bro. I love Pele. No, Tattoo. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, <sidekicks. laughs> what? no, okay. What's wrong so, with playing so, a couple of balls? So, okay. so that you have a good argument. I agree with that because. <laughs> Black and white, boy. but you don't think you don't think. Okay, he's signed with Al Heyman, so he's not part of Golden Boy or Top Rank, right? EJ, right. so that, he's his own boss. He's his own boss. But here's the thing: like, if, if I mean, it would have been awesome. He would be part of Golden Boy because look at Golden Boy, who have all these type of fighters that they could fill up a stadium here if they have a good undercard. But undercard. He, he, he was at one time, was he signing Golden Boy? Yeah, he was signing Golden Boy. Then they all left, or when they all left, he left. But the but PBC has a good stable. They don't really need, you know. <sighs> They really don't need anybody else. I mean, they got They can have two. Okay, if they put them here, like okay, Dallas, they can put one of Charles on the card, just like they did before yeah, the exactly. Bomb Factory. They could put uh, Ryan. Uh, Ryan Carr. Ryan Carr from he's from Cowboy. Yeah, Cowboy. He could put him on the card. Carl, they could put Mayweather uh, Ma- uh, Mayweather McGregor again. <laughs> uh, what else is the, the Mario Barros from uh, San Antonio? They got a bunch of talent from Texas wise and. PBC Even the kids from, I mean, the guys are kids. The guys from San Antonio. But now talking, going back, I wanted to t- touch on that because you made a good point, Chris. All, both of y'all made a good point. How it's now or never. The perfect fight that reminds me of that was when Danny Garcia fought Amir Khan and it was last minute that he got called up. And Danny Garcia wasn't too high. Like, he wasn't, he was known but not, like, respected. But he went in there and he Destroyed Amir Khan. He hit him with a nasty hook he, twice. No, but I think you're thinking you're thinking of uh, Eric Morales. Yeah. Eric Morales is the one he was supposed to fight in Houston. Mm-hmm. I can't remember who he was supposed to fight, but he got a late call in. That's when uh, he got the late call in, and he beat him and knocked him out the first time. Uh-huh. Then he ended up knocking him out the second time. Yeah, but that's that same did. thing happened with the uh, Amir that like Danny Garcia got called last minute. I remember. I mean, maybe okay. I'm wrong, but I mean it's a good point. Like it's either now or never. And yeah. that check comes. I mean, I'm sure that check. I mean, it's fabulous. But you you tell me to go up to weight classes, you can pay me a meal. So I'll do three. I, don't <laughs> mind. I mean, I'll eat five burgers if I can in one hour before <laughs> right, right before the weigh-in. But that's a good topic. But now well, we're everywhere, which is good. But if we talk about the Canelo Triple G, which is everybody's looking forward for that, yeah. Uh, you know, what do y'all think will be the outcome 
do you think it'll be the same? Do you think it'll be a, a Triple G slowing down? Which I think he's slowing down. I think he's too. After he's that, older. after that fight when he had against that dude, oh, I forgot his name. Who exposed him? What's that guy's name? That's about who? Triple G. Yeah, uh, uh, Dane, Dane Jacobs. Jacobs but, um, he was smart. He was smart, and I think Canelo tried to play that too in that fight. But man, like watching that fight first, he would. I, if you watch the replay, I honestly think that Triple G barely won it. But he won it. Barely. No, but he, he won it. No, he didn't win it. <laughs> you said barely won the fight. <laughs> but he won the fight. The against judges who? said no. Boy, against who? who you the judges about? said no. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm admitting. I think he won that fight. Okay. I, I, Triple Danny? G versus Canelo. Okay. Versus Canelo. I think he won that fight. Because Triple G was the, the put in the pressure the entire time. But you could see all the faults that he had that Canelo figured oh, yeah. out. He made, he, him, could, he made him work for it. He just, yes, but he, every time he, he pushed him back, out. that's what made Triple G uncomfortable. But every time that, that Triple G came forward, he was really he was looking to have that punch. Like that's what he was focused on. That's what I was watching from the watching the review. <laughs> He's getting Man, that tum -tum, man. <laughs> yeah, some time, man. Breeze music. Yeah. Oh, um, uh huh. Go ahead. Well, I guess my thing I was just saying was just basically um with that um I don't think Triple G really got off like he wanted to get off that night. And um I'm trying to remember that fight. It's been a while. Is that though? It'd be his own. I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, but he still the man still won the fight. You know what I'm saying? If, if he would have got off, he'd have won about more rounds. But he didn't. But yeah. so he didn't get off. So yeah, I'm it's hungry. his fault. But hello, hello. He still won the fight either way. And I think with um. Canelo loaded, took a nice shot of Triple G. Triple G ate it, walked it down. Same thing with Canelo. I, I don't, I mean, he did I, the same thing. There's I, nothing I didn't that, see that one shot that Triple G there, If you look at some of the punches, he gave, he gave it to him pretty good. I, I don't think Canelo is going to knock him out. I no, think I he's going to have to box him. Neither one of them is going to have around. to box him. And uh, I think Triple G, if he finds a good spot, I think he'll make Canelo stumble. I think he'll make him kind of shake his head yeah. because... Canelo was smart. His defense has got progressed so much after that Mayweather fight. He learned so much, and he's been going up, up a little and little, little by little on his defense. But I don't think he's gonna knock out Triple G. I think he's gonna work him and work him, and he's gonna just have to work him. But Triple G, when he had him on the ropes, he was looking for that punch. He was just trying to get him with a hook, a straight right, and he could not land it. But they were both going. They were, I mean, it's okay. So let's say same time around, he lands it. So it, it just either way, people say, well, I, I still say. He didn't get off like he needed to get off. We didn't see the Triple G that we normally seen that night. And it's because Canelo was fucking going down. Canelo was moving around. Triple G didn't cut the ring out like he's supposed to, <laughs> like he normally does. And I just feel like it was just a. Uh, but okay, now it's not a triple. This is why I laugh, okay? The funniest thing to me is what is, what is Triple G's uh, defense mechanism? He wants him to fucking stand there and let him get hit, right? It's basically what he's saying. Mexican oh, he, he wants Mexican style. Just stand there. Just stand there with Abel says the same thing. So he's supposed to stand there and just fucking take the beating, I guess, or. People you know, out the next day. Yeah. So I mean, the thing is, <laughs> he's using, hey, true this story. Is funny. This is funny because, okay, boxers fight a different way when they're coming up. Most most of them, if you look at, okay, let's use Cornello and Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman was trying to knock everybody out when he was on his way up. When he got to the top, he's like, let's use defense more. Let's when he fought Danny Garcia, he was using defensive more. Which was a good fight. Yeah, Cornello, he used he uses defense more. He was trying to move around the ring, work away from the the, but the, the punches. Still tipping on foe foes. But the thing about that, bro, I look at is that he gets he he gets ridiculed because with him is that I, Mexicans not. fight, Mexicans stay in the ring and fight. Chavez didn't do that shit. These, these 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 great athletes, Mark, all these great fighters don't do that. They fight, yeah. they throw the throw, and Canelo constantly moves, move. And don't get me wrong, I love a slick fighter. I'm a fan of Floyd. I'm a fan of Laura. I'm a fan of all these guys. I love slick fighters. Shout out Noah G. Hey, look, we got Robert from um, Team Garcia, man. I, what's up, Robert? How are you doing, man? Um, Go ahead. I just... Um, Get him. It just makes it rough because you watch, well, we all watch boxing, but Mexican boxing is not really known for that moving around and stuff, so... Yeah, That's why yeah, Triple yeah, G's yeah. getting ridiculed. I think so he bad. does it just to like keep. I, I, I think he does it more just because his people tell him, "Hey, man!" Like even when the fights were going on, Mayweather. Even when it was, "Oh, would, would you fight Mayweather?" And Mayweather said he doesn't fill up a stadium. Canelo mm -hmm. said he don't fill up a stadium because nobody wants to watch him. He's he's not he's not. And then after they started uh, saying that, what did he started saying, "Hey, hey, Mexican style, Mexican style." It starts so annoying. Like seriously, dude, shut up <laughs> because you're not you're doing it because shut up, Trump. You know you're trying, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're trying to you're trying to use what is not you you're trying to imitate what is not 
you. And yeah. but you're doing it because you're not gonna get paid the way you're getting or you're fighting. You're not gonna get paid the way you're fighting. You're not gonna catch people's attention the way you're fighting. You have to be saying, "Oh, Mexican style, Mexican style." It ain't no Mexican style. He ain't doing no Mexican style. But and you say and you say you say, "I respect Mayweather." I'm okay. It's over with. But he was smart. Boxes. There's boxes that stay in there and they hit like Brandon Rios. Like he's not lasting like Fernando Vargas. He wanted to stay there and fight all his time. Look at him. Yeah. He ended up being a 33 year old that retired. And I wish he would have been longer because Fernando Vargas was. He was amazing. I loved watching him. And it was between him. I remember by that time it was either you chose Fernando Vargas or Oscar Deloitte, the pretty boy or the slugger. And I was like, yeah, I loved I love Fernando Vargas, but I those, he goes, those. I love pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, is that true? That man. <laughs> <laughs> why are you sweating? <laughs> the AC is not working. That's why. Look at your shiny forehead, boy. I tell you, AC, I, tell you I, I, I sweat easily, man. I tell you. <laughs> when I get put on pressure, I, I sweat easily, okay? But when you said that, that Mexican style, that um, Mexican style, Mexican style, you say it's annoying, whatever, but that shit's putting people in seats. This, dude's had, this dude has Re- came. But does it really? He's not selling. He's not, he won't sell. Okay, they put him in Cowboy Stadium. He's not going to sell what Canelo does. Just buy, model, he's not going to sell 50,000 seats. <laughs> no, 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 no. no I'm, not, I'm not saying he's the best seller, but he's probably at least second or third best seller out there in the, I guess, yeah, here. Sorry. Put, um, let's say, um, Earl Spence. Can Earl Spence sell uh, Master Square Garden? Uh, he sold 14,000 seats in his last fight. Barclays. 12 is 14,000. I can't remember what I got it in my I, phone. I give, give, he, he, Triple he, G has done all that. He's like I say it might but be annoying, but he does put people in seats. He got yeah, so yeah, many yeah, damn fans out there because of that style of mm-hmm. just going there, knocking heads off. But he don't beat sell, the yeah, people. He don't sell pay per views though. I mean, yeah, he don't sell pay per views. He's not. Who, 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 who does Canelo? Well, it was the only one right now. Yeah, okay, well Canelo, Canelo sells, but he. They got, hey, Floyd, 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 Floyd's still the best pay per view guy out there. You can see the right here the. Triple G fan. <laughs> I don't. I just. I tell people, I'm not a fan of Cornello. I'm not a fan of anybody. I'm a fan of boxing. I, I, I like I, both. You know. I like both styles. I, I, f- I like both styles. But my thing, I understand what he's doing, and he's trying to get more popularity. Because before that, nobody really knew him. Yeah. Until he started knocking people. Anybody could be knocking people out. The, uh, you know. Yeah. Anybody could be knocking people out. But how are you going to grab people's attention? How are you going to get paid? How are you going to get those big names? So he used that. But yes, he's right. That Mexican style ain't just moving around. You got to stay in the pop, 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 back and forth until which the last dog standing. And then your boy wasn't doing that last fight, right? He was just moving. Yeah, and moving. he was being really smart because he knows if I get hit <laughs> once, I'm going to feel it. But it, it was a good fight. Like yeah. the first four, four to six rounds when I was watching it, Canelo would take a beating right there, but he'll come back and pop, pop, pop. Like he would come with good combinations, and he was faster. He's faster than than, than Triple G, yeah. but he doesn't have the reach. He doesn't have the height, and I don't think he has the same power as Triple G. So what no, I think he's gonna have either. to go in there is really be smart and box and he, and then chop him down, chop he's him down little, little by little. little. He's gonna have to work that body. This fight than he does. The, if if, the if Triple G leaves it to the judges, he's gonna lose again. Yep, because well, he he's out of the door. He's thirty five. No, Canelo is my age. He's, we're 27, 28. I still got about eight more years yeah. prime that I can make more money. These judges, ah, you know what? Why are we going to give this to this dude who is out of his way? He's going out of his way. You know what I mean? Plus, it's, it's Vegas is really Canelo's town. I mean, this was the second, Anywhere, this be baby. second time. Anywhere, baby. second time. Anywhere, Triple TMT, G's the Mexican team. <laughs> 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 this will be the second time uh, Triple G's fought in Vegas. So, I mean, it's not, it's not yeah. you know, it's the only bad thing about putting it back there again. I it's, went to Vegas for my really cousin's. Wedding and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's I lost all my money. <laughs> but he's not really, you know, he's not his town. The tr- Cornelos, you know, pretty much runs Boston right now. I mean, he's still the A side. He's only it comes one. down to. Could you see Canelo fighting EJ in the future? Uh, yeah, it'd be a couple of years away, but maybe. It's if I mean, does Golden Boy and PBC work together? I mean, <laughs> Mike Jones playing in the background two eight two eight one three three zero oh, eight zero zero four. Hit Mike Jones on the low because Mike Jones about to blow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Now the freestyle session. <laughs> Who's his favorite rapper? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's good times with Mike music. Jones. Mike Jones. Who? Mike it's Jones. It's actually Paul Wall, but okay. Hey, the Paul Wall verse too is pretty good. It's oh, sideways, right? I'm still tipping. Yes. Hey, but well, I mean, Mike Jones got killed by Chameleon. Chameleon with that three album mixtape mm-hmm. out there and. Yeah. Pretty much ruined Mike Jones' career. Shout out to SPM. <laughs> <laughs> Free SPM. <laughs> wiggy, 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 wiggy. Okay. Carlos Coy. Yeah. So, I mean, that, 
it, it's 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 something that, that's gonna be the best fight this year. You can't, but I, if you so really far, look at the now, year, yeah, the, the year yeah. started off great so far. Yeah, just, so far, yes. Yeah, do Earl Earl Spence. Re- recap, recap, recap. Okay, so the Earl Oscar Spence, about, uh-huh. started off with Earl Spence, Earl Spence, and, Spence. And then, Lamont yeah, Peterson, Lamont Peterson. That was a beautiful g- game plan because I re- I rewatched it again, but I rewatched it as the techniques that he was using. Yeah. Okay. Now Lamont Peterson, with all due respect, he knew he was gonna get whooped. He knew he was gonna get murdered. He was gonna stay there. Yeah. Because when they said, are you going to continue? He was like, I, I don't know. He knew that Errol Spence was kind of, he knew Errol Spence's game plan was going to destroy him. But there's a simple type of, there, there's a simple uh, 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 technique that Errol Spence was doing to keep him away. There was, he would jab and he'll keep that jab to like kind of push him away. And that's what made him uncomfortable. But that, I mean, that fight was spectacular. Seeing EJ, even when he was telling us when Derek was talking about Derek James. Thanks for showing us yeah, all the time um, we see you. Uh, talking about Earl Spence, too, I wrote a story, which I'll put up on the website tomorrow. Um, what happened to my story? You never finished. You didn't, what about I my you space? I told you. Oh, you want me to correct it? Yeah, I, I thought you were going to do work for you. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Y'all worse than America. Hey. Y'all worse than America. Well, goddamn. Well, I thought, I thought you were going to. What about mine? No, fuck that. I thought it was, it's over. I'm done. I thought it was one team, one oh, dream. No. He's like, I'm going <laughs> Let's go ahead and go. Let's go ahead and go now. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. no, that was off, no, folks. I, <laughs> I said, "It's what you need to fix. Fix this part for people that like, say people don't know." The same thing with I wrote a story about Earl Spence and uh, about them fighting him coming to fight in Dallas. Um, it's getting hot in here. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> so yeah, just take off. Yeah, your I'm not lying. I'm <laughs> you, it's really getting hot in here. <laughs> but from, <laughs> from black, he looks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you better not fart? <laughs> But from oh, what yeah, I see, it, no, no, no. From what I saw on PBC's website, PBC's website, it's going to be uh, Carlos Uncompo is going to be in here in Dallas. Again, no venue named. But I wrote in there, doing research as I did. Uh, Shout out to Jarvis. The what do you call it? Taking that day, uh, the star in Frisco is reserved that day for mm-hmm. some Dallas, which is fucking hilarious. Dallas Rattlers, and it's a lacrosse major league lacrosse game at seven o'clock. <laughs> Hey, on the 16th. Hey, hey. But but can't they buy that out? I, I, I think they can move it, I'm assuming. But I mean, the damn, I'm feeling the AC hey, now. It's La Rosa de Guadalupe. Oh, shit. Yeah, but uh, but, uh, oh, shit. So uh, I, I bet you it's going to be a double AC is from what I, what I was, what I bet. Double AC. You know, oh, man, I, so I don't want to say this, but. I could breathe. <laughs> I, I can't wait. At the same time, I've been looking forward for a band that I've been waiting for years. <laughs> and they're coming that day. And I told my lady, babe. <sighs> hey, babe. We're going to have to go to both. We're just going to have. But you guess they're not, they're not going to be in Austin one day, day before, or, you know, something like that, go around? I'm stressing because the World Cup's around that time, too. The World Cup's really important. Anyways, yeah, yeah. we're getting off topic. Who's the band, bro? Who's the band? And I need those ready this. They're classic. The they're they're Midget they're Green. Green, green Midgets. <laughs> <laughs> The green midgets. The, le- <laughs> leprechauns in? You're laughing. You're laughing. Is it hey? Is it like is it like mini kiss or what? No. <laughs> no. Bro, they're like they're, they're no the frill. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I want to see a picture of these Disclaimer, guys. these guys <laughs> are bullies to me. <laughs> this is what they play right here. Hey, I know that's hey. It gets better. It gets better. <laughs> Look how many views they have on my video, man. This is a music review <laughs> brought to <laughs> you by. Okay. Look at Chris. Look at Chris. Look at Chris. I Chris. know that song, bro. I know that song. Good song good. Turn it up. And they're really midgets, too. Hey. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, over, I'm over here defending them like if they even play, ever pay my mortgage. <laughs> they are midgets. They are midgets. <laughs> So well, anyways, hilarious. anyways, I, hey, wherever, he does it, <laughs> wherever he does it, RTB will be there. We'll be in the house. What, uh, where are they even going to be at? Where? at BT Plaza. Bomb Factory. Oh, okay. oh, no, Toyota. Toyota Music Factory. Oh, for real? Hey, that's yeah. an amazing yeah. place, bro. Let me tell you. Is it? Is it just like Starplex, man? Is it the, the, I have not been to Starplex. Star I've been to the Starplex one. The, uh-huh. pavi- pavi- one? Yeah. Star, the whole Starplex? Yeah, it's, it's called Starplex Dallas. now. Yeah, but it's... Oh, th- this place is amazing, bro. They got a huge... It, it's like a... Oh, you uh, turn the music down and everything. Stage? <laughs> no, it's it's just, it's a- Alacranes Boxer, what's up? <laughs> Shout out to my coach. They have seats. 
You know, like like uh, like a theater. Yeah. And then they have a huge like I want to say dance floor. Okay. Oh, and you could man, we had our uh, our holiday. Quinceañera. Our holi <laughs> a, a holiday uh, celebration party there in December last year. Okay. Cruising down the street. Boyz II Men would perform. Dave Chappelle, I know he opened up yeah. that place. Oh, was supposed, so but he, I wanted to go, go to see Dave that. It's a, it's man. a great place, bro. Yeah. The food is amazing. <laughs> So, um, oh, this oh, is, yeah. is it a place or arena? It's, a, or what it's is arena. It's it, like Star it's Place. Like it's arena just like the, slash pavilion. It's slash basically like a, star I think it's just everything. like the Star Place, but it's in Irving. But it's, it's like, big, bro. Yeah, twenty thousand. I think it holds. They got. I think like they got the Alamo Draft House there too, as oh, well. Bro. They got. Oh, wow, yeah, they, they got like a lot of bars within. Yeah, the area. Is that yeah. the one that plays the movies? The draft house, or was that something different? Yeah, draft house, I, I, yeah, it's right here. It's right here. It's I, hell of expensive. I'm out on that. You man, know, but I heard the whole, I heard the whole experience is better. Yeah, I, I heard, heard it. No, no, yeah, they, they, if you ever follow them, they do uh, social media wise. They do like what we use example when it came out. They had like a fucking yes. clown there. Had all this shit based on the movie. These cups are these pins you could buy from them. Mm. Cups they were giving away. As I mean, so they go all and all out. They even have older movies that they had. Uh, yeah, I know Rihanna said <laughs> she went to see um, Elf there. And they had like um, Umbrella, syrup, Ella, and, Ella. And all kinds hey, of uh, about the movies there. Yeah, and then they even had like they'll do older movies where they have like uh, one of the old cast. Oh, they have Flash Gordon. They have Flash Gordon come in for, to, for real? To, to watch the, the, the football player. No, no movie really. star man. What's up? Was he from Ted? Ted, Ted. Ted. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, th hey, those fucking hey, green, hey, those no. green midgets got you. <laughs> the NASCAR driver, no, that's hey. Jeff Gordon, the porn star. They brought him in. <laughs> oh man, no, it's because okay, Ron German. Okay, let me let me tell you why I said that because. The Cleveland Browns drafted a player for, who was from Baylor University, and his name was Josh Gordon. So they called him Flash because he's one of the best okay. receivers that they have. So my mind, I'm thinking about Is that the pothead? Huh? No. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's, 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 Everybody knows a pothead, huh? <laughs> Is that dude? Yeah. But, I mean, he came from Baylor, so he's okay. Texas okay. people know. Well, anyways, uh, Oscar Valdez fight. Dude. That the Coke card was good. If you looked at dude, the undercard, too. Yes, cartoon, but that guy has some. Oh, it was a great fucking fight. It Huevos, was cojones. Fucking broke his jaw. Said, I'm a teacher, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Not on <laughs> camera. <laughs> but, yeah, he had some. He had a broken jaw. Broken jaw. But you know what's the funniest thing? That's the teeth? No, no, no. All the odds were against him. Let me tell you why. You think so? He, I mean, I, no, thought, no, he, I thought it was his fight well, well, Let's start. Honest. From the way in, the dude was almost three to four pounds over. Okay, he, was, quit, right? he didn't make he, uh, he didn't make weight. Mm. The next day he didn't even weigh in because he knew he was really heavy. And if you saw how he how he looked, his body yeah. like, like he looked heavy compared to Oscar Valdez and the yeah. punches he was giving him. Like oh, the dude wasn't even he was eating them up. Yeah. So he was a heavy dude. Yeah. So Oscar he he was like, hey man, I, you know I'm, I don't take this fight. It's three pounds over. Yeah. Still took it. He didn't weigh in the next day. Still took it. Yeah. Went in there, broken jaw. Still fought. Teeth were halfway broken, yeah. still fought and won it. Yeah. You cannot tell me that dude is. Uh, oh, you scared me. No, someone turned a light back there. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh shit, talking about Ed and Ghost and Clay. <laughs> and little midgets. Hey. Green yeah. midgets. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. Let me go. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so you can't tell me that that is a Ooh. great way to start the year with a fight like that. And compared. It wasn't pay per view. It no, was, ESPN. It was on ESPN, yeah. and it got a lot of views. Oh, it did, yeah. And he, but look at him, like after the fight, he was like, yeah. <laughs> it was like, Ugh. I'm like, dude, yeah. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, close up. In soccer, again. <laughs> in college, I ran into this dude who was an army. We're playing, and he he cracked my jaw right. And to this day, I never got it checked up. So every morning, I have to wake up. I have to unlock my. I'm like, I have to unlock it. So that's painful. <laughs> Imagine yeah. him, Sounds a sexy. broken jaw. He's broken, bro. Like, yeah. seriously, that's much. Oh, oh yeah, he took, he took, he fucking took a beat and he kept going. But he was fighting. Right? He was, yeah. he was, be he was beautiful fighting, man. Yeah. Even like, the the co-main with Andy Vincent versus uh, mm -hmm. Eric De Leon was, you know, was a good fight from one side. I didn't even see. I'll be honest with you, I didn't see the whole fight. So the people were like, you know, how did you judge a fight? I don't really be honest. I had a winner winning. <laughs> <laughs> it was a draw, so I mean, you know, yeah. can't really, you know, go from that. I mean, uh, people said they saw De Leon win. People said they saw Vincent win. Um, but they both you, kept they both kept their O's, so yeah. On to the next one, man. But it just seemed like um, it was a good fight. I I, I hyped it up a whole lot because I was looking forward to the fight because two hundred feet of fires. I like I like De Leon and I seen the yeah. Vincent. This is, we saw De Leon fight here three or four times now, and then uh, Andy Vincent. We saw him fight. 
He fought. Uh, oh, I saw him on TV. Fight Casey Ramos and he fought Manny Rojas. Manny, Manny Rojas. Manny the Punch Rojas. And so and then we went here locally. We talked locally. We went to that. Uh, you and I went to that um, uh, Pookie versus. Um, oh yeah, it was a. It was a. Um, yeah, not, uh, it was for a Ring of Hope boxing yeah, gym. But it was. Pookie it was a uh, Oscar yeah. Mojica versus Pookie that was a was main a event. Fight. It was a good fight. It was, it was a good ten fight. rounds. It was ten rounds. Yeah, it was. And, uh, it was good. The whole car was good. They had a chicken. Uh, oh man, fried, fried chicken or grilled chicken? <laughs> no, it was a uh, uh, Sharita Metcalf. I trying to think who else fought on the cover. Five, five uh, Fernando Garcia fought, and then you see, he, I said, I said he came out, and I think his his uh, boxer's attire was done by a Fight Night Apparel. Like he got some new trunks on, man. The red, I said it looks good. He's been, we said, remember he, when he's on the show, he said he's been wearing the same trunks hey, since he gym. started. Um, I'm trying to think who else was on the car. Remember who else was on the car? Oh, it was uh, those was two girls too. No, it was the sure this right to make a chicken. Yeah. And then it was uh oh. <laughs> I'm telling you the the some kid named Taylor was the first one that fought. And then Fernando California. I saw Manuel out there, he was supposed to he said he's supposed to fight in April May. I can't remember who the other card was. Who are the other shows? California. Um, how was how how was their video? It was at the Fly Museum, right? Fly Museum, yeah. In same setup and everything. Yeah, same setup as all the time. It looks really Man, good, you know. The, the best thing about that one is for uh, you can buy a table down there, and it was for a charity for Ring of Hope. And they always give good shit away. They give a fucking Welcome big to ass Milwaukee toolbox wild, away. Wild West. Uh, I think they gave a golf cart away. Was it a golf cart? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. This year was a car. 12, yeah. 12 or 24 month lease on a car. Was what? Giving away. Yeah. Next time we go there, we need to find a sponsor because all those dudes are rich. You know? yeah, yeah, you go pay yeah. my mortgage. Yeah. Here. It's I a got, it's mortgage. You hear, you hear the hunt, hearing them behind us. Come on, get him on, little Mexican. You hear him yelling? <laughs> like, I got money on you. Whatever your name is, or whatever. But I was so just he said, one of the guys, hey, man. little Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> that what he said? God damn midgets. <laughs> <laughs> but they were, you can hear them there betting money. They're like, they didn't know anybody. Which is, they didn't oh. know anybody's record. They're just like, hey, I got money on this guy. Come on, Oscar. You hear him yelling? They were just fucking betting. Sounds like a table. good time, man. Just drinking yeah. and just um, yeah. watching some fights. That's good food always. They, they have yeah, a, they have a real good food, and I take advantage of that. Yeah, yeah, I went up, I, I, y'all went upstairs or upstairs? Y'all wait, wait, I ate both. I ate upstairs and I ate downstairs. <laughs> yeah, because there's different menus for yeah. different folks. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> hey. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like Timothy Hughes says, green midgets, I want the gold. <laughs> Shout uh, out to Timothy out there. There's no, uh, yeah, there's no liquor upstairs. They got liquor downstairs. But you only get like two, t- two or three tickets uh, for the... When you come in, but still, I got yeah. next week. Get some good food downstairs. I was eating that. It was good. You know what you need to watch before I, this song's playing? On BET, they have this thing where it's the Chronicles of the Death Row. Oh, I thought you meant the. The Chronicles of the I Death Row. I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. You're yeah, you're there's one where they did a. Uh, um, I learned, I like, every. I, I watched so many times, and everybody, why well, you always watch the replay? Like, a replay? Oh, what happened to it? Like, what happened to this? Like, I learned something new all the time. But, like,. That chronicle, the Death Row Chronicles, is pretty good on BET. It's like six episodes, and it talks that li- it literally goes in depth of everything, how everybody started, how how Suge Knight got all his money to start. Anyways, that's something. Actually, no, 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 you're fine. Yeah, there's a one. Uh, there's you off topic, but you're good, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have a goddamn script or anything, but you're good. <laughs> I hardly ever do. No, I hardly ever do. <laughs> I've told him about one that uh, is either uh, Interscope or it's uh, what's the other one, the Dev Jam? No, it's not Dev Jam. It's uh. It starts with a P. Priority. Oh, Priority Records. Priority Records. But this dude started, I can't remember which one, whoever Dre and them were on, he started, he talks about how he started and how they, they got Dre, his own record label, how they basically made fucking beats. How they After signed, Records? Yeah, how they signed all these fucking acts. He, he used to have like Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Michael Jackson, I can't remember who else. Which hey, the King of Pop. Pop. What channel was HBO. it? HBO. It was on HBO. Yeah. So it's called On uh, Demand, right? I imagine. Huh? Man, is on demand right That's now. Oh, demand. okay. Now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like a six episode yeah, miniseries. It's, it's it's the um. Oh my god, I had it right here. The it's with Dr. Dre and this other guy. Yeah, yeah. he has married the Manta. How they all came again. Yeah, See, yeah. That one. If, yeah. you, if you watch, if you watch the Death Row Chronicles and then you watch that one, yeah. it's like a perfect story. Oh, okay. It, it's really good. I mean, yeah. I mean. Anyways, we're off topic. But uh, I know what I'm doing. Hey, hey, hey <laughs> remember this is our show? We talk about. The <laughs> hey, talking uh, about that. What's your best Netflix series? Out there, your best, your the one what that you're you watching got, right now, or watch in ever? general. In general, what's your best now? Yeah, I would say uh, Ozark's pretty good. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Ozark's a good show to watch. Okay, Ozark, really Ozark you? Man, you know what? I have a lot, but to be real with you, I don't care what anybody says. The '70s show, The Office. <laughs> the I can office. watch The Office. I've never watched The Office all the, all the time. time. Yo, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> 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 no, there's a lot. The Punisher, Sons of Anarchy. 
Uh, really Ozark. Good. Breaking Bad's a good show. Breaking I mean, Bad, Breaking Bad. Black, have you guys seen Black Mirrors? Black, no. no. That's out M- the, mine is, mine is the first episode. Why well, gotta be I'm black? Why well, gotta I'm, be brown? Shout out <laughs> to my boy Cole Winchester because he put me on that show right there. Um, I've watched black it. I've watched it. The good thing about Black, black Mirrors is the shows, every show's different. There's not, yeah. it's not like a... You're following the same cast. It's just all over the place, but it's like it's really out there. Like, uh, yeah. it's funny because they got one where it's uh, you're based on this dating app, and you don't you're going on a date. You never met this person, talked to this person in your life. You're meeting this restaurant, and you're sitting down. And as soon as you sit down, is this a you, show? Yeah, yeah, Black Mirror. You put Black Mirrors on Netflix, and, and you can watch it. Oh, but I mean, but no, you, you can, you can watch it. One season, season one, season four, episode five, and none of it no, interlocks together. together. There's no, no ties. You can watch it skip all around. It's like a movie with like five different. Fucking stories, and you're like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, like, yeah the I was, best. I was watching 101 Dalmatians this week. We know Nacho was watching Moana, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I watch Moana. I watch uh, Baby Boss or Boss Baby. Like, 5,000 The emoji, times, emoji movie, you watch that too? Yeah, nah, I don't really like that. My, kids, my, hey, hey, my it, little daughter, she watches the same thing. That movie Leap just started on Netflix. Yeah, she watched yeah. that motherfucker like four <laughs> times in a row. <laughs> Baby, we already see this. We want to see it again. All right, she'll watch... Uh, Liv and Maddie, which used to be on Disney, she watched her roll through the whole series. I'm going to roll again. So she rolls right back to me. I was like, golly, girl. Back to boxing. <laughs> but no, but I'm Mine's back. is Club de Cuervos. I heard about that. That, that, that I heard that one. Is That's this, a great, bro. I heard that one. What does that mean? It's, uh, <laughs> it's not a great mention. What is it? it? Cuervos? Hawks? It, it, yeah, Hawks? Yeah, well, Cuervos is... Uh, um, Lord, come on, Lord. No, you don't know you. A hawk. I mean, Cuervo, isn't it Cuervo, about a soccer team? Yeah. Culture and, and, and they try to. Win they go the- deep. No, they go deep with how actually how the soccer industry run, is run in Mexico, bro. And it's oh. it's it's so deep that you like, damn, it, everything makes sense. Yeah, good show. Yeah. But Ozark need to come out with another season. Yeah, uh, yeah they need to come out. I was with looking at it. Yeah, the first be, episode catches your attention. Like that. Yeah, I it's, hate it. You like you you keep going to the app and refreshing. It. Okay, yeah. when. This, this is one of my biggest complaints about uh, Netflix. Okay, they, you know, they're good about putting the dates on there. Hey, this show comes back on this day. But mine is, why don't they do when the show, you know, because they loop through the same you shows all the time. You guys are funny. I'm driving and listening and laughing at the same time. Hey, hey but, focus on the road, oh, Jessica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> say, at the start, damn, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but how come they don't put, like, dates? Hey, this show's, you know, like when you're on, on my list. Why don't they put shows going away in two weeks? So you can be say, oh, let me watch this movie before it goes away. Something like that because they roll through. Oh, this, they go away. Yeah, they're they're adding shows every day. They're taking some. Yeah, work. you can search on the internet. Just search the beginning of the month. Say, hey, March shows for Netflix. They'll show you what's coming in and what's going out. So they'll show, like I used to watch uh, How I Met Your Mother on there, mm. and I watched the whole How did fucking. You see- Wait, hold <laughs> <on>. <laughs> no, but this, this is my thing. Who, girl? <laughs> this is my thing. Oh, like, we are talking about my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like I love I love sitcom comedy, so it's just the point of I watch. Like when you I'm laying down, office. after I'm playing, after I'm play, done playing some Xbox, I'll fucking sit here and turn on the show. Like, oh, let's see what. So I watch this or I watch the '70s show. It's just fucking hilarious. But I just like, you know, just rolling through and that, that show's off there now. So what's your username on Xbox? <laughs> uh, Kings twenty three nine. It's the fucking same thing. Every hey, yo, go ahead and follow him, man. Play some games. Mine's Juicy some- J. Ooh, I know it's, dude, it, it took it's oh, the '90s. It took, it took oh. me the longest time to tell me his name. I was like. You told me you were gonna tell me your name a long time ago on Xbox, so we could play. But we don't play. He plays Call of Duty, Call of Duty, and FIFA. That's all I do. But I don't have the time like I used to, just because teaching takes up a lot of my time. I have to hey, can I get some violins in the background. <laughs> <laughs> this week I spent a lot of time playing Call of Duty, and then you know it's pretty funny because a lot of people talk a lot of smack on me. Like, oh, you know, talk a lot of racist comments against people. <laughs> and I'm the guy, hey, who bet, and I'm the one. I'm like, I bet you don't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, dream, dream fight. So there's fights coming up the rest yeah. of the year. Okay. Um, personally, me, I would like to see. Uh, oh my God, what would I like to see? Like While you're thinking, I'm gonna go ahead and jump. I'm gonna go with um, Deontay Wilder and uh, Anthony Joshua. Okay, now that fight, we didn't get to talk about it. That was a good fight. That was a but good Wilder fight. But Wilder's so hot, weird. Why is he so wild? He's, he's, so, like, he's, he's like, so wild. He looks like he's having a, like he has a hammer in his hand and he's just like. <laughs> She's fucking Thor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 We call him Thor now. His skinny little legs. Yeah. Yeah. My Gre- so McGregor Jr. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, anyway. it was bad because Ortiz, I was going for Ortiz. I like Ortiz. Hey, and, um, he had him. He had yeah. him in the, I think, seventh, eighth. He hurt him at some point. He had him. Time. He just couldn't put him away. And the way he goes in boxing, you can't put him away. Alex Del Bosque, March 31st. 
They just said that. Oh, there you but, go. Yeah, Alex Zavoska, March 31st. Yeah, he's fighting uh, Boston or somewhere. He's fighting a Golden Boy card. Yeah, yeah. Should yeah. be a good fight. He's not fighting here. Yeah. No, no, no. Boy. It's he's in not. Pennsylvania or something like that. Yeah, he's not fighting here. Yeah, he told me that. Yeah. But he, he's been looking better. Like that previous fight that we went to go see him, he yeah. looked way much better than yeah. the other fight that when we saw him. I was like, man, but when you he got knocked okay, out. Okay, let's use an example. Okay, you're talking about that. The bad thing about boxing is, now it's I guess when you when you go to a fight, God, you can't. Fuck, I can't <laughs> no, please in you. That's, you can't. Uh, that's the only bad thing about boxing. So you know, NFL, you get sixteen games a year to play. Boxing, you get now. Which the Cowboys haven't picked up anybody in free agency. Uh huh. Now we're lucky if you get twice a year, pretty much. But my biggest thing is, you can't go in there and have a bad day. Everybody's gonna have a bad day. Yeah, he had a bad Alex day. Had, you know, when you're going in there, maybe you're not fighting your top competition. Do you feel like, you know, hey, I can cruise, cruise by on this fight? Can I just get by, you know, get W and be all right with it? You know, you can't – nobody they don't get the benefit of the doubt being like, hey, I can't have an off day going into this ring. I've got to be pretty much the best of my ability to only fight twice a year. Yeah. I've got to be the best that can be, you know, fighting now. So, I mean, you know, sometimes you might not look the best. Sometimes you do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not saying it's – I never ever meant to mention him and to bash on him, but he looked bad that fight, and then he picked up the next one. Oh, he, he looked great. Good, so that's what probably he he came in. Lot. You see, he came in with a drive. Like, he knew – Yeah, he knew what he, he had purpose. to do. He came in with a purpose. Like, I gotta, I'm got. i going to show this undefeated uh, Chris Sencio Ramos. He's like, I'm going to show him. When I talked to know. him that fight, when he – That was a good fight. Yeah, yeah, that was, was a good, good fight. fight. That was at the Bomb Factory. Yeah. Yeah, um, they have all the boxing things at the Bomb Factory. They had one at the Southside Ballroom. So me, and bro, he's got one in Fort Worth, and it was like like an outdoor venue. Yeah, it was nice. He got like a CKO. Yeah, well, the Star a, One was outdoor. Outdoor, remember? Yeah, that one was nice. The one that, that was, was, was and it wasn't here. that hot. I was no. so happy it wasn't so hot. That did, day was <clears> Alex recording. <throat> I just got back from a restroom break, but did y'all mention about? <laughs> Alex Del Bosque yeah, March yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. my bad. Pay attention. Pay attention. Hey, Pay attention. attention. Put attention. <laughs> no, but uh, uh, you wash your hands? another one we uh, we can talk uh, about. Oh shit! I forgot. Be back. <laughs> uh, uh, April fourteenth. Uh, uh, April fourteenth. Uh, Maurice Hooker fights uh, yes. Terry Flanagan in uh, in London on the Billy Joe Saunders and Martin Murray undercard. And also the chat. Uh, Touch, uh, talked about the ref saved Wilder. Wilder. Wilder? Yeah, we talked about what? Oh, okay. Sagan? That, the ref. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure. When he gets you a little buzzer, man, so you can <laughs> buzz in. <laughs> ding! Cool, like, ding like, hello. The ding, bro. Ding, you just come in. I'll be pretty yeah, sweet. So. That was, that's, that's what they told my sister. She got like three girls. <laughs> <laughs> so the Wilder fight, I mean, it was a good fight. I mean, I think they should have a rematch, but Ortiz came he, he came. he came in there as a dog. He came in there as a dog, as a pit bull to, to keep on going. But yeah, um, uh, Maurice Hooker fights at Dallas, um, Dallas boxer, and then yeah. we have uh, uh, Alex Delbosca. Shout out to Maple, Maple. Yeah, room. so it's Alex Delbosca, and then the 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 card on May 11th where um, Listo Gaitan is gonna fight, and then maybe yeah. say Gabe Flores is gonna go. Yeah. And if he comes, it'll be pretty cool. We get to talk to Stitch Duran again. Yeah, and right. even his, uh, I even talked to his dad. His dad's got building up a stable there with a lot of good fighters from. Just to see, he I got see, a, uh, I see one. That. I came with a girl. He's got from Top Rank. He's got his uh, Ronda Rose. Rousey. And I even told him Ronda Rousey. <laughs> he's, uh, no, she's in WWE now. <laughs> she's in she's in WWE now. She's gonna wrestle. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon at WrestleMania. WrestleMania's next month, right? Yeah, April. And uh, New uh, Orleans. I stopped watching when I was like five. <laughs> I I, 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 I paid <laughs> for the WWE Network and I have never fucking. I don't even watch. Yeah, no, Maybe I'm here and there. I, if you need to watch that, uh, but we need to watch that Ric Flair on the ESPN, the thirty for thirty. That's, that's real good. good. That's they real good. They're making one for. And then he talked Parker about like, what do you think when people say that wrestling's face? Like, I don't like it because it's it's clarial. How do you say clarial? Ooh, I got five on it. <laughs> I got another five. So on if you side? if you could pick if you could pick if y'all could pick a Dallas fighter from here to be an undercard on a big undercard this year, who would it be? Uh, not, not don't 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 let's 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 move EJ a little bit on the side because he doesn't deserve to be an undercard. In the, any Dallas fighter that you think that would deserve to be, let's just say them for an example. I haven't uh, even I talked about you, Virgil. We haven't even yeah, talked about Virgil. Virgil. Ortiz, I would say Virgil Ortiz or be mm-hmm. um, Alex Rakon. I mean, pretty much, you know, I would picture. One yeah, I got to talk to him on a, on a, on a, when I went to Earth Thursday for Irving Powell that I went to go help the team not be there and scout. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I talked to him. He said that he's um. And he's looking for. He's gonna have a fight date soon, but he he took his time because he had I a surgery. surgery. I need a surgery. And he said, "I'm gonna take my time." But he wants. They want to do it where him and his brother fight at the same time. That's, and that's when I told him. Card. I said, "Look, so that'll be better to have y'all come here in the show." Yeah, but anyways, it, it was, shout out to Alex too. 
cool, cool cat. But I mean, it's just so many fights, and the local fights are, are going to be really good. Yeah, there's but a lot of fights coming up before. I we... was, I was, you know, when I was again running back to the Killbrook and EJ. I mean, it, it just, it just looked, it looked how much EJ has just progressed. Too. Oh yeah, yeah. How's he progressed yeah. that Killbrook compared to the the Peterson fight? How's he just progressing and progressing? Yeah. Um, I feel bad for Danny Bob. Garcia when he knocked out. Um, Brandon Rios, golly, I feel so bad for. I knew he was gonna lose, but I feel so bad because it just takes one punch. Yeah, I've only, I've the only time I kind of rooted for Danny Garcia is when he fought Amir Khan because I Amir Khan annoys me. The way he like talks, that, the way he, he has. He, his he, chin. We talk about the Amir Khan fight. He was he Amir was, Khan. He was oh he was out of the He's fight. He's so cute. <laughs> he was out of the. Danny was out of that fight because he was beat by fucking Amir Khan the first couple rounds, and then he just he got lucky with that fucking punch. Still, what made him? I mean, but you know, I, I, you say luck, but I think he beat um, Eric Morales the same way too. That same as Eric punch. Morales he was just, like forty. Yeah, but no, but he's saying lucky. He was he, forty. He's saying lucky punch because the head's down. He's just but yeah, swinging. he's just swinging. He just is it a lucky down, punch or something? They have telegraphed already in, in the but, but you box, so you I don't know. No, no, but he he wasn't doing that when he was fighting Lucas Matisse. No, he was he, he was skilled. Boxing. He was skilled. You he can see skilled. you can see that Danny Garcia can slug. And and people, he it's can funny because people even say, "Oh, Danny lost that fight." When I saw he didn't lose that fight. He which, won, one, which one? Which one? Uh, Matisse. When he fought Matisse. Like, I don't know what I you knocked, saw, but... Didn't he knock him some out? People, some I was people, there at that fight, by the way. Some people come back and say he lost... Uh, another When they said Madonna beat uh, Floyd. Where the fuck did no, he beat him? No. I was like, I didn't see that fucking win. <laughs> so but I wanted was, him to that beat That was him, one of the best but, fights. Yeah. That one, one of the best fights that I admired that I kind of got more respect for Mayweather but his opponents when Madonna fought him twice. Yeah. But the best one that I felt like was even be- uh, you might hate me for this, but the best one that I felt were were still say McGregor, we're right? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no I'm Conor McGregor. No, Cotto when he fought Mayweather, uh, that was one fight, was yeah. when I really yeah. gave my respect to Cotto because Cotto boxed beautifully. I mean, he was still, you know he, he gas off the pedal, but I mean you can't blame him. I mean, we go back to Oscar De La Hoya. If it wasn't for Oscar De La Hoya, Mayweather would have kind of struggled more to be the cash cow because after that everything well, it was, was on his own territory. Yeah, he he had like ten years of just Mayweather just. Then, then before that, Mayweather had a slug to get his name when he fought the the late Arturo Gatti. Yeah. Which could, could we say the same thing about um, Canelo? Because Canelo didn't get really big until he fought Floyd. Yeah, well, he's fighting everybody's brother before that, but you know, so could, Cotto's brother he fought. So can uh, we say the same thing? Or not for your homeboy, like he had his brother. Like, like basically, Floyd paid the way for not paid the way, but he opened the door, opened sure. the door for that like, yeah. Canelo to come. Because, yeah, because, because if you realize, I'm sorry, I interrupt. No, 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 go ahead. Okay. But if you realize. I think a couple of fights before that, it had to be been, um, matter of fact, the Cotto fight. Canelo was on the undercard fighting Sugar Shane yeah. on the undercard. And then before that, also, Floyd fought again. They kept on putting Canelo on the undercard of Floyd. Yeah. Building, undercard, fight up. building him up until they got yeah. to that main fight. And that's one thing I give Canelo, man. I, he was always fought everybody all the time. He ain't never ducked. I don't think it's nobody. just him. It's been his promotion team yeah. that put in place, too. But Laura did but, beat him. But, but uh, <laughs> I think he did. I yeah. think he did. But... Laura okay, was okay. going there. Okay, but Laura Dew's defense is a style. How come you say I, I to be honest, I can't compare because I'd have to sit here and watch the fight again. What's this, what's the same thing as what Conello did to Triple G compared no. to what Laura did to Where's the music? Uh, Laura did to, uh he's saying shit's over. Uh Laura did to, Hey, uh, I know uh, that Laura did to, um Conello. Well see the thing with I never said I never said that um Conello was running. Because I said I'm a fan of slick bodies. Yeah. But what that was that he's a Mexican fighter. It's not really known for Mexican fighters yeah. to do that. It's a Cuban style. With Laura was Cuban. Yeah. Floyd. You'll see people do like that. But Canelo, just, that's, that's not his style. I do that. No. But um, <laughs> nah, I, I think just um. Spit it out. DK Kai, you know what I noticed about Chris? When he hears a badass song, he just like he he, he like <laughs> zooms out. He's like he's like okay, let me. Okay. <laughs> 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 he totally, he totally forgets <laughs> what the hell he was talking about. We're, we're both different because me, I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> no, because that's that's that, that's tongue, that song right there. Me and my wife came out to that song for our wedding. Yeah. So that song right there is basically Tum Tum. But but I'm a big fan of Tum Tum and. He's D-Town, so hey, D-Town hey, stay down. And I'm just kind of giving something away next time. I talked to Tasty Tom Tom the other day. He's just going to be on the show. Uh, February, uh, April, April 15th. What, what, what did he say? Is Look at the third? goosebumps. Look at the April goosebumps. April 15th. Hey, everybody, write it down. Don't forget, April 15th. He said, hey, April he said, the week before, 15th. The week before. Uh, Who? 
What say you? Uh, what? We're having a special guest. We're having a special yeah. guest. Yeah. Uh, before Broner, uh, Jesse Vargas, huh? You already said oh. Tum Tum. Yeah, Tum Tum. Yeah, he's going to be, uh, be, if you don't know who Tum he is, he's big, big rapper in Tum Dallas. Tum Tum McVay. <laughs> DSR. Uh, I'm going to bring something so he can sign. So he's a big boxer <laughs> fan. I texted him about being on the show before, and uh, he said he'd do it to confirm the oh. date. I, uh, it's been a good show. Yeah, it's been oh, a good show. Hold on, we, we forgot to mention who else we're going to have on the show. Oh, you're talking about Lisa? No. No, not yet. Okay, I'll leave it for next week. Er, stay tuned on the Real Talk Boxing Facebook page for more. Can details. we get some shouts before we? Yes, yeah, some shout outs, shout outs, and plugs, and plugs. Get yeah, your social media so, right so, anyways, we have we we uh, we're still in search for for sponsors. If 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 you want to you know sponsor Real Talk Boxing, which we're we're progressing every year. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean monthly, every day. monthly, <laughs> every day. <laughs> every year, we only done it for a year. <laughs> Goddamn, <laughs> only once. No, but we're, we're we're searching for sponsors, and I, I've I've contacted some of my friends. Yeah, but yeah, so uh, we're yeah, in that process. Email, email us realtalkboxing one at gmail dot com. Do not email me to my school email, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're looking for sponsors, and believe me, if you don't are not in this train, you're gonna be left behind because yes. I feel like we're, we're yes. progressing a this lot. Is, and, this um, train is picking up so fast that even myself, we've been doing ooh. doing this for so you know for a lot of years. <laughs> this show, I mean, this show. They know what they're talking about. Me, per, you know, professionally talking and uh, doing shows <laughs> on air. This show right here has a lot of content in regards to boxing. I had never seen this in Dallas, but uh, it, it's amazing. These guys, they know their, their shit. You know, they got some good knowledge on boxing. Beep. And, and uh, that's, you know, that's why I enjoy doing this. And like uh, like they said, hey, any sponsors? Sponsorship is going to is gonna be 100%. You know, yeah, it's just that next level. Get us, you know. Oh my and god! I, I, there's a lot of mom and pop shops, not you know, mom and pop shops that yeah. they're coming out, and we're not just here in Texas. Yeah. If I, every time I get into our Instagram, like we have a lot of a, a lot of oh, followers yeah, for, around the yeah. area, yeah. and so we're progressing That's a lot. Good. So we win, but you win too. So yeah. everybody's winning. Yeah. Yeah. Winning, like you know, uh, Charlie Sheen when they asked him he was bipolar, he's like, no, I'm not bipolar. I'm by winning. <laughs> off topic. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who's tuned in. Uh, social we'll media, yeah, yeah, social so, uh, media. You can find us Real Top Boxing on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook is the Real Top Boxing. If you can't find us, search just fucking Google Real Top Boxing, you'll see it. Realtopboxing.net, uh, YouTube Real Top Boxing. You not? You can find us. Say so if you go to the website, you can see all the search right across the top right corner. You can see all the all our pages. You can just click on it straight, straight to the link. Shout out to everybody who took this time from eight to nine to you know watch us. Yeah. Um, thank y'all. We wouldn't do it without y'all. Uh, we, we're gonna. We plan. We talked about. It, we want to have more shows like this. Oh, yeah, we yeah, we just sure. talk and we have the fan. I, I want to have fan. more than one show. Yeah. yeah one, so we, we're still weird. in the process. And, but to get everything worked yeah, out. one hour side never goes so quick. Yeah, nah, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who tuned in. Uh, kids, you better be asleep because tomorrow back to school. Oh my God. Yes. That quick, this week went by so quick. And it's real talk boxing. Real talk for real boxer fans. Let's go. Hey,